Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerle and welcome to my channel where you can learn how to create a business online, basically using YouTube. That's my favorite platform. What I want to show you today is how to make an end screen for your YouTube video. You hear people talking about that. Maybe you're not really sure what it is or how to do it. So I'm going to show you step by step how to add an end screen to your videos. And the neat thing is you can go back and add them. You can go back and edit them if you decide to change what they are. So the first thing you need to do is log in to your YouTube channel. Well, first you need to subscribe to my channel, then log in. Okay. Do that. All right. Cause I'd love to have you as a subscriber. All right. We're going to log into our channel. We're going to go under our videos on the side and just pick a video that you want to add an end screen to and i've already got it up because i have a slow internet um i am out in the country on a satellite believe it or not but this is the video i chose passive income funnels um, using tripwire making tripwire funnels okay i don't even know i didn't even know if i had end screens on it because it's one of my older videos but where you go to edit and add an end, end screen or edit them is right down here on the right hand side it says end screen now this has an edit sign so that tells me it hasn't even been added yet or it has been added so we're going to go ahead in there anyway and i notice this is an older one because i used to put my um logo of me and to get people subscribed so i'm going to go ahead and delete that because i don't want to use that and over here to the right, I added one of my playlists and it's a playlist of mechanics of click funnels. Now I was talking about a tripwire funnel, which is made in click funnel. So I'm going to keep that there. So if people were interested in creating tripwire funnels, they probably want to know more about click funnels and all the different mechanics. I've got 44 videos in there. Surely there's something now this one I'm going to change. It says, do you have a millionaire mindset? I'm just going to delete that now how do i add let's pretend you have nothing okay you're going to go up here where it says element to the left and you're either going to add a video you're going to add a playlist or you can add subscribe where you saw my little logo if you say you want to add a subscribe link the little logo that you have on your youtube channel which is usually a picture of yourself that is what's going to pop up and you can also add another channel or other links today we're just going to add a video okay now this is about um i can do my most recent video which i kind of have started doing i usually leave a box there for that so that people will see the most recent video and the reason i do that already after about a year and a half i'm noticing if i put two videos there in the end screen they're getting old videos if that makes sense so if somebody sees this a year from now that's all i have in there but to keep it fresh and new and current I want to add view most recent video so there it is and that will just automatically um, go in now here you can select best view um, YouTube will select something that they think that your viewer would like and you could add that or down here choose a specific video that's where you would add one of your videos and you choose which one you want most of your videos will pop up obviously if you have a lot they're not all going to pop up so what you need to do is you could go um, back into your YouTube channel find the one you want and put the channel or the URL right here you can also put somebody else's video there so if you saw on another channel somebody made a really good video that complements what you did then go ahead and put their video there there's nothing wrong with that video youtubers like to share and like to be part of a community and help each other out so definitely do that so what I'm gonna do is go back and add like I said I want um, the most recent video to fill in right there all right and then once I do that I can move them around I can actually add up to four things I have been lately adding two or three um, like I said I just want the two there for now because um, on this particular one I'm probably still talking there till the end and then we're going to save there you go now I want to show you one more cool thing that you can do with end screens okay I'm going to go back to my channel page and I want to show you something that I can do because I have a tool called TubeBuddy. Um, if you look right here, it says bulk end screen actions. I can um, update, I can delete, or I can copy. 
I'm good. I can update a whole bunch of videos at one time if I want. Let's say that millionaire mindset was a video that I was using as an, an end screen. And I'm like, I don't really, I'm not really going down that path. I don't make enough videos about that topic to really, you know, justify having it there. I can go in here and it says, I can say video elements. Okay. I can add that video URL and then I can say upload that with something different. So I can set it with a different URL. Bulk editing from TubeBuddy will go into all 400 of my videos and find that video that I added as an end screen and replace it with something else. So that's pretty cool. So you can do it in a bulk set. <laughs> and I think, gosh, it saves so much time. Now let's go ahead and look at the other ones. One says copy bulk screen. And here I can search for a video if I want and I can filter and then I can copy and um, continue and fill in though is I'm going to copy and search for videos and put, oops, like here, a uh, step-by-step guide for affiliate marketing beginners. I have an end screen template already there. If I want to copy that and use it, I can just um, find, use that and copy it and put it onto other videos. I don't have to keep creating that the end screen over and over again. So, Typically, if I want to say, I always want to bring up the video that's the most current, and then I want this playlist to always come up, I can just copy that template and every time use the same one. It's probably not recommended to do that. I would suggest always finding videos that relate to the to the video that you made, if that makes sense, um, sense. Because then people are going to keep seeing the same playlist and the same video every single time. Here, I can delete bulk edit end screens if I want. Maybe there's an end screen that I don't want in there anymore and I want to get rid of it. I can do it by a bulk editing with that as well. So that's pretty cool. This is a tool I highly recommend. Um, it starts out with a free account, I believe, or it's like $9. I can't remember, to be honest, how much. Um, maybe $9 a month for the, the base program, but there's lots of neat features. I, I do use it all the time. I am really, really, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm really, really cheap. I don't like to keep buying all these software tools if I'm not using them. So if I talk about something, I'm using it and I'm paying for it. So definitely uh, YouTube, TubeBuddy is definitely something I would highly recommend. It really helps you if you're serious about building a YouTube channel. If you're just playing around, don't waste your money. So there you go, folks. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, anything else on YouTube that you would like to learn in more detail, let me know and I'll make a video and I'll even shout out your name in my video and let people know that you were the one that requested it and hopefully that'll help you get more subscribers. You have a good one and again, Thank you for watching. And if you didn't subscribe at the beginning, subscribe now.